boxes! <clears throat> Hello and welcome, dear viewer! In a stunning display of backbone and corporate decency, Blizzard Entertainment stuck behind its Hearthstone Grandmaster contestant, a famous player by the name of Blitzchung. When said contestant sent out a political message of support over the Hong Kong protests that have been going on over the last several months. <laughs> hey, only kidding. No, Blizzard doesn't have an inch of backbone and did the most utterly disgusting thing you or I could imagine. After player Bliss Chung's message, the corporate giant immediately banned him for a year and even penalized a pair of commentators who interviewed the champion, refusing to work with them any further, despite them wrapping up as soon as Bliss Chung began talking about the Hong Kong protests. The company responded to the criticism, saying in a statement that it stands by one's right to express individual thoughts and opinions. But Blitzcheng violated a competition rule that prohibits players from doing anything that would bring them into public disrepute or offend a portion or group of the public, as well as damage Blizzard's image. I think you are covering that last bit yourself quite well, Blizzard. Remarkable, isn't it? Who'd have thought that Blizzard meant Chinese state interests when the company wrote its terms of consent. A portion of the grip of the public indeed. Well played, Blizzard, well played. Why is all that happening anyway, I hear you ask? Simple. Blizzard has racked up billions of dollars worth of avenue from the Chinese game market, and rather than risk putting a dent in their coin purse, the corporate giant did the only sensible thing it could have done. It threw Blitzcheng under the bus. Human rights, Freedom of speech, freedom of political beliefs, what are those again? You have to question whether they expected this story would blow up the way it has. Surely they knew what they were doing, right? You can't possibly be this stuffed. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones. Phone, right? Oh, right. The public outcry has been swift. Which is all too well, because what a public way to announce where your loyalties stand. As if anyone doubted it over the last f years, is the almighty dollar. Of course it is. When you draw the ire of US politicians, and I mean one of them is Marco Rubio, you know you're doing something very, very wrong. Blizzard shows it is willing to humiliate itself to please the Chinese Communist Party. Senator Ron Wyden says... No American company should censor calls for freedom to make a quick buck. Marco Rubio tweeted on Tuesday, meanwhile, Recognize what's happening here. People who don't live in China must either self-censor or face dismissal and suspensions. China using access to market as leverage to crush free speech globally. The implications of this will be felt long after everyone in US politics today is gone. Hate to say it, sure looks like Marco Rubio has a point. Oh, and if there was any doubt about a complete and utter festering wound full of pus that seems to be a good size of the blizzards of today, the company is even holding on to money won by Blitzchung. I don't know what your definition of stealing is, but mine includes holding on to a monetary sum that has been won fair and square by a player of the game you've developed a player who's won the tournament you've set up, no matter his political beliefs. Where does Blizzard go forward with this? Hawked if I know, but it's a bed they've made for themselves, and whether they retract Blitzing's suspension or sell on ahead with this course, the price for them in the public's eye is steep beyond measure. Either way, I'll be on the lookout with any future updates for this story. So if you'd like someone to regurgitate Verge articles and intersect his own opinions on them, subscribe, like this video, ring that bell, and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Bye!